The families of three children who survived the mass shooting in Uvalde have now filed a federal lawsuit. It named several defendants, including the school district, police, and gun makers. Tonight, Candace Sweat spoke to the attorney representing those families. It's been four months since the deadly mass shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde. Civil rights attorney Stephanie Sherman represents the families of three surviving students, ages 9 to 11. They have to carry that trauma for the rest of their life. It's an invisible wound. They can't, they don't feel comfortable going out into their community and into their environment. The families filed a lawsuit in federal court against several individuals and institutions, including the school district, the city of Uvalde, the former police chief and gun makers. The 83 page document says the defendants were negligent and that negligence contributed to the death of 19 students and two teachers. This is a community that feels lost, that they were let down and it was sort of a domino effect of errors. There was no immediate response to the lawsuit from defendants. However, the school district did release a statement in response to ongoing protests outside their offices. That statement reads in part, Uvalde CISD remains open to a continued dialogue to address questions and concerns with a scheduled meeting. The administration extended an opportunity to meet with individual protesters at central office. However, the offer was refused. It goes on to say, while we continue attempts to meet with individuals to address their concerns, our focus remains on supporting our students, staff, and families throughout the recovery process. As for the lawsuit, Sherman expects an uphill battle, but sees it as a necessity. The message of the lawsuit is we need accountability. We need, we need school districts, police, everyone to take our safety more seriously. Candace Sweat, NBC5. An independent review into the actions of the school district's police department is underway right now, but school officials say they don't know when that will be done.